Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a quick review. Um, I've been wanting to talk about the new Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation for a while now. If you guys are following me on Snapchat, you guys have seen the struggle to get this foundation to freaking match me. So, um, just as a heads up, this is the foundation that I'm wearing right now and I don't know how it's going to look once I film or edit the video and then upload it for you guys. So a few weeks ago I saw that Urban Decay released this foundation and everybody as always was talking about it. I am not one of those lucky um, beauty bloggers that receive PR packages from Urban Decay so I did purchase this myself. This one actually retails for 40 bucks which is a pretty steep price for a foundation especially because I have so many of them that 40 bucks to me, I'm like, um, should I even like bother to do it? But, um, like I said, I heard a lot of good things about it, that it was a really matte foundation, that it was full coverage, that it was very long lasting, and yada yada yada. So, I had seen a few reviews before I made the decision to actually, you know, take the plunge and buy this. The first time that I bought this foundation, I picked up the shade 6.0, and when I tried it on, at Ulta it looked like it would be a good match and I actually tested it out that same day I went out and again if you guys saw me on snapchat <clears throat> you would have seen that it was way too light for me so unfortunately I had to return it and then pick up the shade 7.0 now I I saw that Kathleen lights mentioned that foundations that ended in 0 .0, I think were warm tone if you guys know my you know my skin color I have more olive undertones and I'm medium to deep or medium to dark complexion I guess so I figured you know 7.0 would be a good shade for me now last time that I was wearing this in a previous video I believe <clears throat> a lot of you guys mentioned that my foundation looked way too light for my neck and it's funny because once I was editing the video I totally noticed that so I was really disappointed because in person it looks like it matches me pretty good but for some reason with my lights and everything it just it doesn't look good now with that said I was really disappointed because it almost seems like they don't have enough shades for us you know dark biscuits because even the 7.0 doesn't match me I haven't tried the 7.5 because they don't carry those shades at my Sephora or at my Ulta they only have them online but at this point I'm just so disappointed with the foundation itself that I don't even want to try the 8.0 or the 7.5 because I just feel like the undertones are just they're not gonna be there now with that said I do have to say that I do overall like the foundation again it's the one that I'm wearing right now and it's very full coverage and it's very long wearing. I really like how it makes my skin look because it's a very mattifying foundation. I have oily combination skin which, you know, I am oily on my T-zone and then my cheeks and the rest of the outer perimeter of my face is pretty normal. I don't get dry or oily. So I do like the foundation but I just, I don't like the colors. I feel like the foundation actually makes me look ashy and again I have olive undertones and I just I can't seem to get it to match. I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about right now as you are watching this video but for me again it was just very disappointing because I do like it. I do like this foundation. So with that said I did keep my receipt because I wasn't sure if 7.0 was going to fit me. So yeah, I'm going to take it back. I am going to get a sample of the 8.0 to see if maybe that matches me a little bit more. I'm really hoping that the 8.0 will work out for me and maybe I will update you guys on that. But for now, this is going back. And then really quickly, I also wanted to mention the new Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream. I picked mine up in the color medium 25 warm which is such a pain in the ass to get color match with these damn concealers because there's so many which is a good thing but it was so hard for me to find the perfect undertone something that wasn't gonna make me look too yellow it wasn't gonna make me look too light I just wanted it to be that perfect color this is the color that I'm wearing or the concealer that I'm wearing right now now and even though it looks really pretty it looks very flawless don't mind this my freaking dog chewed on this palette 
but it is a concealer that I'm wearing right now. Now, what I can tell you guys right away is that this concealer is thick. So, my God, it's so freaking thick. A little goes such a long way. You know, I cannot wear like a light layer of concealer. I have to pack it on. So, if you do like concealers that are thicker, you're really gonna like this and I don't mind so much the consistency of it but unfortunately with this concealer it breaks like it breaks up on my skin I'm not sure if I can even make sense but right here in my forehead it almost like my foundation breaks apart from the concealer and even though I bake you can definitely see that it's very thick and heavy right here I also like to bring my concealer to the sides of my nose and to the center of my nose because you guys know that I love my contour on my nose and it breaks so bad. I was wearing this um, concealer yesterday for one of my little cousin's party. And my skin looked so ugly. Like, I could not stop looking at my skin. And I was just, I wanted to go home and take it off. Because it looks so cakey. And you can definitely see, like, my, almost like, all my blackheads. And I wash my face. I take care of my skin. And I take care of all my blackheads. But for some reason, the concealer would just break apart from here. So you could see my skin peeking through I hope that makes sense I tried to take pictures yesterday but I don't know my camera just it wouldn't zoom in that close and when it did you really couldn't see what I'm talking about so with that said as well um, even though I do like the color and I do like the consistency of it for some reason my skin just doesn't take cakiness very well I think it's because I have oily skin and it just it didn't work out for me. I like it and I'm sad that I have to return it. But I'm hoping to pick up the Tarte concealer and see if that's maybe a little bit lighter. So yeah, that is what's going to happen. And this one and the Urban Decay Foundation is going to go back. So I believe that is everything that I wanted to touch base on as far as the foundation and the concealer. If you guys did pick up the foundation or the concealer, let me know what you think of it. Let me know specifically about the Urban Decay Foundation. If you are an NC40 to NC42 in MAC, let me know what color you picked up because for me, just it didn't work out. The, the undertone just doesn't seem to match my skin tone. And I mean, I'm not gonna wear, I'm not gonna keep something that I'm not gonna wear. So, again, let me know in the comment section below what you think about these new products. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you just, you know, don't care about them? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye, chicas.